Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve. I'm Lindsay. Today we're going to be reacting to a new canal narrowboat tour. Man, that's a mouthful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I have actually seen, I think, two different videos about traveling in certain sections of a canal. But mm. I've never actually seen the inside of a narrowboat, seen a tour of a narrowboat. I know very little about the narrowboat lifestyle but you know absolutely nothing about narrow right. boats. She has never seen a narrow boat. She's never seen a canal. She's never seen a narrow boat in general. No. So although this will be very new for me to see a tour of a new narrow boat, this will be the first time you've seen anything to do with narrow boats or canaling, yes. period. But I will say, I know several of our subscribers slash watchers, right. yes. they own narrow boats. Yes. Throughout the UK, they have so many interconnected canals from, specifically from the Industrial Revolution, mm -hmm. when they needed to ship goods up and down all around the country. Wow. They use canals to do that. And I don't know if there was other reasons for canals being built in the first place, uh, like just travel in general, but I know uh, a lot of reason the canals were built were for shipping goods mm, up and that down. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is basically like, I guess the British version of RVing in a way. I, I know that people do RV in as well, true. but we're big fans of alternative yes. life, the alternative living situations like very much so RVing, um, tiny, tiny living. homes boats what do you call know? them yurt living yeah, you know like all that type of grid type stuff yeah I, I love that i think it's so interesting when people can live creative and they mm -hmm. and they can oh, shipping minimize their homes. space yeah shipping container homes enough rambling from us let's go ahead and dive in here and check out what a tour of a new canal narrow boat looks like all aboard matey all aboard <laughs> That is little. It's long. It's long, but it's very short. Look at that, man. Imagine you could park anywhere and it's have, a new, have a new uh, location every day. Yeah, out your bedroom window. Yeah, that'd out be pretty cool. Portal. A new view. So, moving on to the front of the boat. Oh, this is wow. brand new. Oh, this We've got is nice. two 270-watt solar panels. Love it. They uh, produce more than enough for what we need at the moment. We haven't had any problems with power. She's great. I just want to say this canal, is that what you call it? Uh, yeah. The canal where it's at? Mm -hmm. It's a lot wider than I thought it was. Well, there are some areas that are very narrow. Uh, we're definitely going to be exploring this canal. I want to do that. Like I said, I've only seen, uh, I think, two canal-related videos, and so I haven't seen hardly any canal travel. And so okay. I really want to explore that as well, and I know you would really find yeah. that interesting. Headlamp for... The tunnels, mm -hmm. she's LED. Man, this is definitely a new boat. Look at um, that. Yeah, climbing that's into nice. the bow, avoiding Fran's salad plants. Underneath here, we've got two gas bottles. Access to the front of the boat, which takes us into the bedroom. Oh, that's cool. The so far, I love this. We're originally tied to these uh, eyes here, but we prefer to use these hooks because. Um, you have to lift the fenders up every time you go into locks and they run. Hold on. Is that something to make sure it doesn't bump against? I think so. Like to keep a buffer yeah. between. The right. When they're parked or when they're like sitting still. Sense. Yeah, that makes still. That makes sense. And the risk of dropping down again and you can get stuck in locks. Ooh. So we much prefer these. They're movable to wherever you need them. And moving along. I love this. Look at the plants upstairs. So I mean, cool. One upstairs. huge chimney. More about later. Hook and pole for getting us off the bottom when we're <laughs> stuck. Mm. Then moving round to the back. I love it. Friend. Got little benches. I, to add that I don't come as part and parcel of the Elton Moss boats. Extra costs incurred. <laughs> but this is our lovely semi-trad cruiser stern. Cruiser? Do you call it a semi-trad stern? Not a cruiser stern, semi-trad. Um, so we've got seats for one of us to sit on while we're not driving. Lovely space for the dogs to sit in. Um, Elton Moss kindly put a hook in here that we can tie the dogs to oh, until cool. we're confident good. that they're not going to try and jump over the side, um, which is brilliant. The control panel is underneath this, which gets padlocked up um, overnight. On the side, we've got light switches, the horn, 
the navigation lights um, and this is the all important bow thruster I was just gonna say that's so cool you can just like pull off and like park right is that free to do like you can just if you have the boat you can get on and go for free and stay and I'm guessing that's I mean it's awesome. just awesome that's very appealing yeah it is I think it would be a blast now that would be an interesting trip to the UK that would traveling by narrow boat yeah I don't I wonder if Sophia would like that she might be freaked out by it I especially think... when you gotta go do you have to go through like tunnels and stuff. oh my goodness uh i have that's one of the videos i saw was going through the longest tunnel definitely uh someone who's okay, in, yeah, who's claustrophobic oh, like me yeah, definitely would have a little bit of an issue <laughs> you just have to somehow i don't know bear it but yeah it would be that's cool though yeah this is really cool and coming down the steps oh, wow. beautiful. oh this looks nice already Okay, so Just it's going to hatch here, we've instead got of the a door. Uh, electrical control panel, isolation switches for just about everything. Uh, two dogs. That's really nice. And behind the control panel here is the electric cupboard. This is battery charging box for when you're on shoreline. Three kilowatt inverter, Vetus. I wonder how big the water tank is. And um, mm. behind there is fuses. I don't know. And I wonder that where you refill all... water. <clears throat> we want to know. Because <laughs> we don't know anymore. <laughs> and your kitchen friend. Look at the farm your scene. Yeah, friend. <laughs> this, just at a glance, I can tell the quality of the materials oh, yeah. in these boats. Yeah. At least this one is phenomenal. Yes. And that's one thing like that always deterred me from wanting to do the RV thing. Because yes. they're so shoddily put together and just junky material unless you take the time to, to gut it and like read even gut it though the outside of it is just unless like you're talking about get one of those air streams from like oh, the like 1970s a really old one with good bones yeah. yeah but even that it's just yeah um but yeah i appreciate how good the materials are it's like I, a real home i'm really curious how much these cost like right? because Ooh, that's a good. It looks question. like a pretty penny, <laughs> but i look at even the windows look i mean it looks solid yeah it, looks it really nice. does actually but i'm not going to be the cake baker am i um we chose a butler sink and initially when we first saw it we thought we'd made a huge mistake because it's really big but actually it is just brilliant because trying to save water on the boat you don't want to be constantly washing up true and during the day if we have any bits of washing up we just stack them down here out of the way we've got a little bowl and just wash up into that using minimum water and it's working so well because it's deep we're not splashing water anywhere yeah very true it's just perfect so i'm really really pleased that we got that that's been brilliant um standard hob and under counter oven there's nothing much to say about that that's decent size uh, yeah it, it really is uh, elton moss kindly made us this drainer as well which that's wasn't cool. part Oh, the boat? the boat! It wasn't expected, the boat but he company decided made we that. needed a draining board and made that for us, yeah, which lovely. is fantastic. Um, cupboard space, <laughs> and look at the. I love the sink. I love the sink. Oh, <laughs> nice hardwood floors. Soft closing drawers, which I've yet to get used to. I keep trying to slam everything shut, <laughs> and then when I soft close, I don't push it quite enough. All the cupboards are the same. All soft closing, but we haven't organized anything yet. What is that? <laughs> A fridge full of vegetables. Oh my gosh, it's so little. Last night's curry. And my sourdough starter, which is now in the fridge. So. That would be a thing to get used to with a, because we have a five going on six year old. Yeah, so obviously. A lot of yeah, go through a lot of food. Milk. And yeah. So that takes up a lot of space. So. Yeah, so that would be something we would have to figure out in a situation like this. Yeah. But so far. Outside of the fridge situation, I totally... I wonder how big the bathroom is. Yeah, that's... I, I don't know. I, that's not really... Well, could be a big deal. For baths. I, I think so. if you had more than one kid, I think it could be a big deal. But I don't know if it'd be a big deal with just one kid. This is so cool, though. It is. It is. Yeah, it's brilliant because we can... We went to a green grocer a couple of days ago and we're able to really stock up with salad and vegetables really for the week, knowing that we can keep them cool. So although we've managed for three years without quite well, that is going to be a bonus. They went three years so without a fridge. That's so crazy. Wow. Big windows either side. Beautiful. Another 
cupboard in the corner there That's for deep and crockery roomy. and glasses. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is. But we still need to get, we want to get some shelves to go up here. We want to get spice shelves. Um, but we're going to take our time and just pick quirky stuff yeah, that we find idea. on route. We're not going to rush to bung anything up. So, so walking through. Look at the egg holder. Did got, you see it? No, I didn't. Hold on, hold there on, was, hold on. There was a little countertop egg holder because they're eggs. They don't find the usually. We're not right. going to rush to bung anything up. So Look. Up. <laughs> no kidding, man. Now, we know, obviously, about the egg situation, right? I only know because of you. Well, actually, um, when we went to... Yeah, overseas, they didn't keep their eggs. Bali, yeah, Malaysia. We, yeah, they were all Yeah, when we were over Asia, of course, they didn't either, because the U.S. is really the only place that does that. Now, you can get farm fresh eggs here that... They are refrigerated, but if you go to store or whatnot, you're one hundred percent going to get refrigerated but that's eggs. That's cute. Yeah, that is. So walking through, we've got nice size table. Mm -hmm. My favorite, very thing, roomy, baby. deep area. The whole boat is this dinette. I just absolutely love it. We hardly use the sofa. This is just such a lovely, light place to sit because mm -hmm. we've got the window this side and right there and um, glazed <laughs> side hatch. Oh, Look at the cool. quality. Seriously, I can yeah, see the quality in this boat. The craftsmanship is yes. disappeared at the moment. But it's lovely. It's a metre wide. So uh, that's going to be a great boon in the summer, isn't it? And so the light, the light is fantastic on the boat. It's just... It's... That's what I love. I love... The windows. Yes, I love yeah. lots of light, lots of fresh air. And it obviously turns into a bed. But uh, yeah, don't tell, really don't tell them friends and relatives. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sofa, man. It's perfect for that area. Mm -hmm. um, little sofa. It probably folds down. Too Looks like it does. Sofa bed barn, yeah. sofa bed. which actually opens up into a bed if you get extra footstools with it. But we didn't need those because we've obviously got the Danette bed. So this has just got um, storage underneath. More bookshelves. Um, here, books obviously on the television so called cabinet. There, books here. We've got little shelves in the corner here that we haven't done anything else with yet. And I love the stove, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. man. Uh, Hold on, wait, can you bake in it? It looks yeah. like you can. That's awesome. That is awesome. I don't think I've ever seen a stove like that because we've looked at a lot of tiny homes, mm -hmm. a lot of like we said, alternative living type houses and i've never seen a wood stove like that i love it that's awesome yeah that's amazing beautiful beautiful hungry no uh yes our hungry penguin stove hungry penguin. Um, made penguin. by chili penguin stoves in wales and it's wales. fab we were a bit shocked initially to see the big flow that comes with it um, it's a double lined, double skinned flue for um, maximum efficiency and it goes quite a long way up. The chimney's quite big. But we lit the fire for the first time last night in earnest and it was fab. How many coals did you put on the fire? It was about eight. And it kept us warm from about five o'clock right through to the evening. The whole, this end of the boat got so warm. And we had to open the door behind you, didn't we, to let it, some uh, yeah, heat out? Yeah, the it was lovely. And we actually, the oven in the top, is not big, but it was enough to put um, a couple of little dish casserole dishes in. In fact, That's that is cool. still warm. That is cool, man. In there now. Wow. Um, I think it's going to be so efficient. Very pleased. The floor is solid oak all the way through, except for the bathroom. I like the floor wow. a lot. And of course, Great. we have got central heating as well. We've got a Webasto system. Oh, wow. Um, so, sorry, just going back behind, we've got these radiators. Oh, oh my goodness. We only had two radiators fitted, but there should have been a third one in here, but we didn't want the space taken up with it. You know, it's interesting here, something like this, like an RV or something mm -hmm. would, um, would definitely have air conditioning. Yeah, you, for you, sure. But I don't believe there would be air conditioning in something like this in Probably the UK, not. because I don't think it's going to get hot for a period of time. You know, and you've for, got so many windows. Yeah, so many windows. On both sides to let air flow through. Right. So the airflow is probably pretty good on the, as long as you can open up windows throughout. Could you go swimming in the canal? Is that allowed? I, I don't know. Like if you got hot, you could just jump in the water. I, I don't know. Let us know in the comments, guys. Can you just swim in the canal? 
I don't really know much about how they operate, you know, and I'm not sure if like in certain areas you have to pay a certain amount of money or if maybe to travel up these canals, you have to get some sort of like probably a license or yeah, a license or something. Yeah. So what That's about a big bathroom. Look at the Just sink. <laughs> it's regular size. Wow. And a regular size Look. shower. How much room there is in here? Wow. This is the only time you're ever going to see me in the shower, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the uh, large shower head at the top, which you What do you call it? A range, a range shower? Mm -hmm. And then the small one that were uh, quick That's wash really shower. Nice. That's nicer than our shower here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> now we have a bathtub, yeah. which I really love having, but. Man. Yeah. For, I'm jealous. For a tiny home. <laughs> type setup this is a huge bath yeah this is cool really really cool that's great plenty of room in there isn't there friend yeah if we've um if if we've just filled up with water and we know it's not an issue we can use the big overhead one but in between times we're just using the little hand one to wash ourselves down and behind the door is what everybody wants to know about the first thing you get asked about any boat <laughs> is the toilet system and we have chosen a separating toilet um, which has a partition so your wee goes in one part of it and can get emptied into El San or if you're out in the countryside just it can be emptied into the tree under the trees or the hedgerow and then there's a separate container for the other your stuff. solid waste. <laughs> um, after we chose this there were new recommendations that came out from CRT up until now people have been able to double bag and put their solid waste in the uh, CRT waste bins. You can't do that anymore. You certainly can't after Christmas this year, but we have plans of how we're going to deal with it. I'm not going to talk about that now because we're working it out as trial and error. And All right, guys. So this is something I'm curious about. So that answers my question that I had in my head about like, do they go to a pumping station or something to, you know, get rid of, mm -hmm. you know, uh, their, we would call it black water here. Uh, but then there is something called gray water that is like the shower and dishwashing and, dishwashing and things like that. Or I don't know if they have a washer and dryer on here, but, you know, it'd be like the, the water from the washer. That's a good question. Is there, there must be a tank for the gray water. There has to be because I don't think like cause the soap and stuff like couldn't just go into the canal, I doubt. No. So the question is, where does that go? I don't know. Maybe I remember like stopping stations. I remember when we've looked at this type of thing, like uh, we looked at different types of toilets, the composting toilets. Composting. Stuff. Incinerator. Incinerator. Incinerating yeah. is another. Incinerator probably takes a little more, like it's too, a little more to it. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of convenient, I guess, but at the same time, I think the, I think this type of setup is probably better. When we've got it sorted, that'll be another video. So you can really look forward to that one. And then through to our bedroom. Uh, which is really just a standard bedroom. We've still wow. got to put some cozy things up in here. We chose look at the uh, bookshelf cabinets and stuff. Closet, the bed. Yeah. yeah, rather than a cupboard, so we, we can actually sit up in bed without banging our heads on a cupboard. And Smart. lovely Jim Elton Mospo has made us a bookshelf here rather than a cupboard. <laughs> um, we've got a wardrobe with wow. storage space in here, and shelves at the top here which are a bit crammed packed at the moment mm -hmm. but that is virtually our clothes storage in there underneath here we have a washing machine nice. which has been wow well, we've still got boxes to unpack so that's minute. cool man i was just wondering about that mm -hmm. i couldn't imagine where they would have put it no oh, yay. Size, it there you like. go. sorry that's our washing machine um, wow and that's a little bit trial and error. It's lovely, but we're a bit nervous about using it because of the water usage mm. and the power. We're tending to use it only when the engine is running. I wonder where they dry their clothes. I was thinking that too, because I know in the UK, it's very, very common for you to, you guys to hang up your clothes to yeah. dry. So where would they do that? There must be some sort of line or something else outside, outside somewhere. But they don't have a lot of like a large. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know. Maybe there's somewhere to hang a line real quick, or I don't know. I don't know. And the other reason that we chose a reverse layout was so that we could sit in bed in the morning and um, oh yeah, just open the doors and sit and look out at the view. That's nice. I, I hear those birds. Not that warm each morning yet, but it's coming. 
Well, that's our little quick tour of Laura Maisie. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we can get back to normal now, Fran. Yeah, we can. <laughs> and we'll show you as we, not improve things, but as we add little bits more to the boat that are personal to us, then we'll show you, you know, little bits that we do as we go along. But at the moment, that's our home. That was really cool. It yeah. wasn't what I expected at all. No. It's it way is. bigger than I thought it was. Yeah. And it's way huge. more modern. Like, I don't, I don't know why I thought it would be old and kind of outdated and but I, I guess I know because, why the, because the canal system itself is. Well, I was thinking the RVs, even modern RVs, they now they put like modern luxuries in them, but the material seems outdated to me. Whereas this, I think, is mm -hmm. the boat they got commissioned to build from scratch, right? I have no Seems idea, like but it, it's a really, really awesome space. I, I would live in this. I, I totally get what they're doing here. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would love this. It's a really cool life. The question is, it's one of those things that you don't know how you or your kids or whatever are going to handle that traveling situation well that's why you would test it out somehow yeah first. yeah you wouldn't and go buy sure. a brand new <laughs> narrow boat yeah. and give it a go you yeah, would have you to would know like rent one and yeah give it a question go. how much would it cost to rent one at versus how much would it cost to buy something like this yeah um but you know i mean i don't really know where the space would be for a kid on a boat like this i mean they would have a specific room you know what i mean yeah but uh Amazing. I'm sure there's families that do it. Oh, I'm sure. Just like here, the people yeah. get their driving around in buses with their with and their vans. Kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we would totally do that. I can just start picturing how we would outfit yeah. this if we were doing this, and that's something we would do is be growing plants on the roof. And I and that. I think you can do this here because the narrow boats they they never go real fast. It's a pretty slow travel. Mm -hmm. I don't know how fast they're going, but I'm guessing like five miles per hour. Or, Something like that. Yeah. I don't know. How fast do you go rock on these? Uh, I have a feeling this way of life would force you to slow down mm -hmm. and be more mindful and be more relaxed in a, your whole life. I, I thought this was amazing. It was. It, it, it was my first time, our first time looking, you know, at, you know, the ins and outs of a narrow boat like this. And I, I totally could see living in this and at the very least traveling in it on a regular day. I, it looks like it would be a blast to mm -hmm. do this. I can just looking at the, the surrounding environment here and the little bit that I've seen in the past. Yeah. I can imagine you go, you go up and you go to these old tunnels and these like these aqueducts and I stuff. Think that and would just, be the hardest, scariest part for me. Oh, me too. Tunnel. Cause I am, I'm claustrophobic. Uh, so totally would be I hard. I think of snakes and the anyways, guys, I think that's it for us. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow us on this journey to learn about anything and everything from the UK and Ireland. And also, guys, um, if you're interested in their channel, link, as always, to this video will be in the description. So thank you so much. Until next time. Peace. Bye.